home empty-handed. After Tyr was such a failure, just wanted now to... Now hang on, little Jotun. Tyr may not be everything you expected, but a failure? You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But Father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there, I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back. And you just act natural, but quickly. thing to hearing directly from them. You are certain the giants would not counsel war? I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother. Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? Pee? Hope you're all hungry. I could eat. Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. <clears throat> Is this sausage? Uh, sure. Why not? I remember food tasting better. I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? Uh. Atreus, we are planning our next move. Oh, so where are we going? Alfheim. Home of the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? Oh, we are seeking information. The Shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The Knowledge Keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. Who better than the Seer who saw everything? Hmm. I wasn't sure you, um... Never mind. That's great. I'll find. Hmm. Hey, don't go forgetting this what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. <laughs> More for me. Tyr, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, Whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Hmm. That elf light is some good shit. So... Where'd this plan come from? Oh, from Mimir, of course. I was merely asking how you found me, and he explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodnar shrines. Fascinating. From there, we set to taking stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding growers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alfheim, the prudent course of action became self-evident. Nary a last step for the world's smartest man. Even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. I was always fond of our talks, you know? Aye. And it's good to see you a free man again, old friend. And thanks to you as well, Brock. These clothes do better than I deserve. Darn straight! 
And never mind what Brock had to trade the landlord to get that intrasil seed for you. The landlord? He's not the landlord! <laughs> uh, okay. He really did it. Tyr really slept in my broom closet. Is that normal for you tall, godly sorts? Or just the ones locked up for a lifetime or two? I'm here for you. May it strike true. Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. Mm. 
My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? What? This must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Mm. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. No. Not one for gastronomic exploration, I see. Wait, if you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> oh. But you are correct. I am indeed Ratatosker. The one you know as Ratatosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... <clears throat> now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. <clears throat> Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? <laughs> yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. That's why good Master Brock needed an alpine seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot. Svortalfheim remains at your disposal if you have unresolved business amongst the dwarves. That seed you found unlocks Niflheim of all places, a realm as ancient as it is vaguely sticky. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the Land of the Elves. Sure I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we find our way through an army of dark elves to get to the light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. The Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hides, though. When we freed it, the Light Elves came back. It seemed better now. Huh. <laughs> Did they now? Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. See the elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better in Alpha. Yikes. Thimble Winter hit Alphine hard. No. 
Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Thimble entered. Living desert. Huh. It was once full of life, you know. And music. The song of the sands. Gone, Gone now. Another victim. <laughs> I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. What do you hear? Feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the Dark Elves get on best they can. Perhaps we can reach that brazier from above. There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting no near chest. We'll be right along. My dad likes loot. Ah. Very well. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assume the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Claw, <laughs> that one.
There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will rise to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder in my realm. There's a gap in the fence over there. There's a gap in the fence over there. Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freya of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. <laughs> Lyricism from the mind of Gvasia. Did you mention how that piece fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. But we don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Oh! <laughs> We're the ones who freed the light. Oh. 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 
Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. I hate Alpha. They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. I'm sorry, Father Seth. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. beat to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, Freyr's. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. <laughs> So tall. We came in from the top last time. I didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate. It's a remote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's a ah! time. How do we enter? Grab that wheel and I'll show you. I'll go first. Petraeus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim, and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And here, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? <laughs> What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The division. Yes. The elves weren't always split like the dark. This statue depicts the elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the light. Uh. <laughs> 
Solid light. Guess some things don't change. Above the door, there's a light crystal. Here, that usually works. Yes, I see now. The Twilight Stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. The light. Ah. Oh. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple Winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. And after the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. Oh. Smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the light Maybe a different angle? Well done. Though I imagine our light out friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of light elves, let me try talking to them again. They Best may... just to let these two do their thing, brother. Some light bridges. But now the bridges are gone. 
I have an idea to get us across. Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way. The shrine awaits. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alpine's light to enhance the temple, and themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up they go. Great. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. There's more Twilight Stone up there. Came of Kavazir. Ripped apart by his audience. Well, one member of his audience. Well, Thor. More light elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. Friends, salutations. We mean you no harm. Here. Get back.
Oh there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Here. Get back. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can throw those back at them! the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. Sure made a lot of these light doors. Hmm. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. Why not simply hold it in place? Hmm. The angle looks right.
I don't think that's the way up to the shrine. We know. There's a chest over here. Oh, I see it now. Get my impatience. Oh, <laughs> tricky. behind this crate, right? I don't mean to speak out of turn, but the white marble wall behind that grate. Perhaps your axe can reach it. Father, up there. That looks right. Excellent. Let's continue our ascent, yes? Ouch! Still standing, yeah? 
Up, father, up there. Understand these poems. Oh, there's always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring to it. 